Hey, I'm Ainsley with Curbside Cycle, and today we're talking about the recent Muller Paxter 70 cargo bike. Riesen Muller was founded in 1992 by Marco Ries and Heiko Muller, two dads, entrepreneurs, and engineers. They built their company on the idea of sustainability, and all of their bikes are designed to replace cars not only in urban, but also rural environments. Let's suss out if this is the Riesen Muller for you. This bike is really good for anyone with families, dogs, or hauling a ton of cargo. It's got a very low center of gravity, meaning that all the weight on the bike is carried near the base, making it feel extremely grounded. Because of that low center of gravity, along with the e-assist, when you ride this bike, it feels like you're riding a monorail. It's incredibly smooth and tracks very well. Because it's a two-wheeled cargo bike, this one excels at handling and has an extremely wide turn ratio. Like all recent mother cargo bikes, this one is great for families who live in rural environments that need the added width of wide tires and extra suspension. When you're looking at buying an e-bike, you want to make sure that you're buying something that's going to last for the long term. Recent Muller uses Bosch systems with mid-drive motors. Bosch is a system that's developed in Germany and their parts are easily replaceable if something ever goes wrong. There are three things that you want to think about when you're buying an e-bike. The motor, the battery, and the display. All three of these things work in tandem to make sure that the bike operates as it should. This bike uses the Bosch Cargo Line Cruise motor. This motor is designed specifically for use with cargo bikes and offers up to 85 newton meters of torque compared to the 60 newton meters that you'll find in most e-bikes. What this means is that it gives you that extra boost when you need it, especially when you're carrying weight uphill, which often happens with cargo bikes. It's very quiet and reliable and kicks in smoothly when you need it and drops into the background when you don't. This makes for a very intuitive ride. It offers up to 400% support, meaning that for every quarter turn you put into the pedals, you can get up to a full rotation back. There's also four modes for this motor, eco, tour, sport, and turbo, as well as off. This bike uses the Bosch power tube motor system, and it's really unique in that it's not on the main frame of the bike, but internally housed underneath the box. You've got two options for battery support here. You can go with the 500 watt battery, which gives you up to 100 kilometers of support, depending on the mode that you choose, or the 1,250 watt dual battery system, which sits under both sides of the box and provides up to 250 kilometers of support. These batteries are not charged by removing them from the bike, but instead by a port on the front of the bike where you plug it in just like an electric car. When it comes to displays, you've got three different choices. Your first option is the Pyreon. It's a pretty simple black and white display controlled with thumb controls that show you the assist levels, speed, range, and battery level, all displayed on a small display on the handlebar. The Nyon is for off-road exploring and fitness. It offers you information on your average speed to motivate you to go faster should you choose, and gives you information on recently saved addresses and places you visited on your map, as well as place markers to find your way back to a spot when riding off-road trails. The smartphone hub is your third choice. This one is not available with the automatic drivetrain. It connects with a Kobe bike app downloadable to your phone, which gives you fitness stats, music and podcasts and audiobooks to listen to on your commute, as well as the ability to make or take phone calls. The dashboard gives you everything you'd want to know about your riding data, including output, cadence, speed, battery, altitude, and even weather reports. The centrally located mount charges your phone, and there are thumb shifters available to control what's going on on the screen. For days when your phone battery dies or you want to go analog, there is a simpler display for use without the phone that is black and white and offers basic information. Now, if you've watched any of our other videos on recent Miller bikes, you know that these bikes come with a gamut of options. And that certainly is still the case here with the Paxter 70. This EPP foam box on the front is 240 liters, and there are a multitude of options for carrying kids and cargo. If you're carrying cargo, you've got four different options. The cargo carry system uses a sturdy plastic frame that sits within the box and provides multiple cargo carrying options. You can do a flat cargo surface, have three large storage areas, two large storage pockets, or one big crate. Four eyelets allow for strap down of larger loads. 
The box itself measures 24 inches deep by 20 inches wide by 19 inches tall, allowing you to carry up to 240 liters of cargo. The tarpaulin covers the box and protects your cargo from rain and snow. It's also compatible with the double child seat option, which we'll talk about in a second. The flat box cover is great if you're carrying expensive cargo. It's made of a lightweight polypropylene and is lockable to protect your goods. If you're carrying more than 240 liters of cargo, you can choose to go with the high box cover. This box cover is made of EPP foam and is lockable, protecting your cargo from theft. It gives you up to 375 liters of box capacity. If you've got kids, there are four different options to choose from to bring your little ones along for the ride. The first option is the double child seat. This allows you to carry two kids up to 10 years old with two five point harnesses and seats that are padded and recline in three different ways. If you have three kids, you can go with the three child seat option. This is the same with the double child seat bench facing forward, as well as the addition of a single child seat, which faces backwards. The single seat acts as a bag storage when you're not carrying your third passenger and folds up and away to provide more room. If you have two children and a baby, you can go with the double child seat with baby seat option. This is exactly the same as the double bench as mentioned, but instead of having the third child seat facing backwards, it is replaced instead with a rear facing baby seat. If you have three children and one of them is an infant approaching childhood, you can choose the three child seats with baby seat option. This one has three seats as mentioned above, but the third seat also is a rear facing baby seat. This can be swapped out when the baby ages out and needs to have their own seat. For all of your precious cargo, you can opt for the child cover. This is a sun and snow cover with additional detachable sunshade and roll up sides. It's incredibly adjustable and makes this cover suitable for everything from hot summer days to frigid winter days. There is a phone pocket at the top to provide light to your passengers should you be traveling after dark. It is height adjustable to allow you to carry passengers up to five foot six inches. The last thing we'll talk about on the box is a lock for the glove compartment. The recent Muller comes with a glove compartment at the back of the box to allow you to store wallets and gloves and other quick grab items. The lock for the glove compartment replaces the magnetic closure and it uses the same key as your Avis frame lock and battery lock. All right, so we've talked about the motor and the Bosch system. We've talked about the box and its carrying options. Now we'll expand and talk about the different options that you can pick to really customize this bike and make it your own. As with all recent Muller bikes, you've got a multitude of options for gearing. Three, to be exact. The touring option comes with a Shimano Dior XT drivetrain. It offers a one by 11 speed derailleur system meaning there's one cog in the front and 11 in the back. This gives you reliable shifting on an external derailleur system. And it's perfect for people who are using this bike in good weather between spring and fall. The Vario system comes with an Enviolo 380 continuous shifting gear hub, as well as a Gates belt drive. This allows you to pick exactly the gear that you need along the entire gear range, instead of clicking up and down into different speeds as with a traditional external derailleur system. The Gates belt drive is adapted from motorcycle technology. This belt is made of carbon and will give you up to 30,000 kilometers of range before needing replacement, about as long as three different chains. The automatic option allows you to set your cadence and the bike will automatically shift to keep it steady. This means that you can choose exactly how hard you want to be pedaling no matter the terrain and the bike will allow you to pedal at that cadence come flat ground or mountains. If you want, you can also switch to a manual stepless shifting, similar to the Enviolo hub. This one also comes with the Gates belt drive. This bike comes spec'd with the performance package, which is designed for cargo bikes that see a lot of use in rural environments. It's got performance Tektro cargo brakes, which is an upgrade from the traditional brakes you would see on this bike. They're meant to withstand extreme loads and use, giving you increased stability and reducing the wear over long periods of time. This package also upgrades the lights on the front and the rear of the bike, putting you to a Supernova M99 lighting system. The Supernova M99 Mini on the front gives you 450 lumens at low beam and 1,150 lumens at high beam, which is enough to illuminate a dark forest as if it's a stage. The M99 tail light is also upgraded to give you a brake light, which engages when you pull the brake calibers. This makes you safer for riding on the roads in cities where you need to communicate with cars, as well as rural environments where people can see you going from a long way off. The performance package also includes a suspension seat post. The next option you need to choose between. The comfort option gives you more comfort when on the bike and makes for a more pleasant upright riding experience, whereas the GX option gives you more capability off-road and on dirt terrain. 
With these options, you'll need to pick one or the other as they're not compatible with each other. This bike comes with two options for rear racks, the rear Packster Carrier or the rear Packster Rack. The Packster Carrier has a surface along the top, allowing you to put cargo on top as well as on the sides. It comes with an integrated bungee system. The Packster Rack is a more simple solution. It's a minimal rail along either side of the wheel and comes with an integrated brake light. This rack is capable of carrying weights up to 11 pounds on each side and is perfect for pannier touring. The geometry of this bike makes it incredibly comfortable for long days of adventuring. The cable steering on this bike allows for up to 85 degrees of turning, making this bike excellent at turning on a dime or backing into tight corners. The position is quite upright while still being moderate, allowing you to put the power into the legs where you need it and giving you the visibility that you want when you're riding in traffic. If you've got a family with two caregivers of different heights, you can actually adjust the stem and the seat post using quick release levers that allow you to bring the stem way up high for someone who's very tall or put it very low for someone who's smaller in stature. If you didn't opt for the performance package on your bike, you're outfitted with Magura hydraulic disc brakes, which are just amazing. Hydraulic disc brakes allow you to use this bike in all weather conditions because they don't freeze up the same way that cable brakes do with fluxes in temperature around zero degrees. If you're not opting for the performance package, the bike comes standard with a Supernova Bush & Mulder system, both German light companies. The Supernova Mini 2 front light gives you 235 lumens of illumination powered by a upgraded Terraflux lens. The rear is a Bush & Mulder Top Light 2C light. The Bush & Mulder Top Light 2C has two C-shaped LED light patterns around a large reflector, giving you ultimate visibility on the road and in dark conditions. Thanks so much for watching. If you'd like more information on the Paxter 70 or recent Muller bikes in general, you can head to our website curbsidecycle.com and check out our blog page, Why Recent Muller. This blog breaks down the differences between all of the recent Muller bikes to help you choose the bike that's perfect for you. If you want more information on the Paxter 70 specifically, you can find all the information that you'll need on our product page on our website. If you're in Toronto, you can come and visit us with a sales appointment at 412 Bloor Street West or find us online at curbsidecycle.com where we're happy to help. If you liked this video, please subscribe for more information on recent Muller bikes, our full lineup of cargo bikes, as well as city bikes and folding bikes. Thank you.